today from Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. The Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. With the Ohio River and the hills of Kentucky just to our right, we welcome you into Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. The enthusiasm. It's 3-0 versus 2-1, a good early season battle as we're underway in Week 4. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Jaguars take over first down. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And a glance at the tall signal caller, standing 6-6. Six, six. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Field. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. And they're throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. First down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's a pickup of six. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. The numbers for Jones a week ago, four catches, 64 yards. And what we just saw there was exactly what they need against this defense. Big plays. They were able to pick up a first down on that one. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. A gain of nine. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 16. 13 yards. 13 yards as the quick slam keeps the drive moving. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the 10-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Second and four. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Philip Dorsett, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it culminates in a Jags touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 26. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. That's a heck of an effort from Josh Allen getting in there defensively. A loss of two brings up second down at the 17-yard line. A draw play for Mixon. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. They get five yards on the run there. Still left staring at a third and about 14. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and 14. Out of the gun. It's Burrow. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Burrow's pass. 
The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Now a handoff to start it out, Robinson. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. He was brought down at his 49-yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that's caught. It's the tight end, Tyler Davis. And he's got this down to the 35. Complete. 15 yards on the play, first down. And the Jaguar first down. They'll run here with Robinson. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Ball carrier. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Back at the 39-yard line. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. The pass. Complete to D.J. Shark. A nine-yard gain on the play. And they're looking to throw. Sets up the screen to Robinson. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down. Blank into the field with coverage. Nowhere to go with the football. Forced the dump off to the back. And even then, they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. First down, here's Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. That catch good for only a couple. Complete to Joe Mixon. Two yards on the pickup. It's second. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Throw left side complete. It's Boyd. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third and two. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Burrow's sack. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Ruben Foster picks it, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Intercepted. The Bengals take over first and 10 at the Nixon with a first down carry. And the 2015 first round pick him up, and Brown brings him down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A gain of two. There's Burrow setting up to throw it, and that'll be incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target, and it's third down. there defensively. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Dwayne Smoot. Picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The competition comes up in so many different ways. And right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Had about five sacks last week. We just saw their first one of this game. Jaguars 10, Bengals 3. 
They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. That's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run. Robinson. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. On play action, they'll throw. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 38-yard line. Three yards. First down, Jaguars. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. A gain of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. 33-yard line. He'll look to throw on the slant. This is Chark. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 18. A gain of 14. And the Jaguar first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of five. Brings up they run the draw here with Robinson. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. No gain on the play, and it's third down. And that is incomplete. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up four. Good. Makes the score Jaguars 13. Bank no problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Slant pass to Boyd. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. That one complete to the former seven, Alon and Tate. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Burrow will throw. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Brings up third and one. Got an open man, that's C.J. Uzama. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. 
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. Badgley able to knock this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime. All right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. The box set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Darius Phillips on the return. The Bengals take over first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. A touchdown would tie it. They trail 13-6 as they come up with a first and 10. Mixon will get it to start the second half. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. At the 33-yard line. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Face mask. Defense. They do that. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. Mixon with it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. A first carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguar 16. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They come up first and 10 at the 16. 16-yard line. And now they will throw it with Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Four yards remain on second down, ball on the 10. Burrow gonna give this to Mixon. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. A gain of a yard. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. That's complete, right around the eight. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Now Burrow. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice... And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Caught out left side by Robinson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Gain of 16 yards. First down, Jacksonville. They'll drop to throw. A slant to Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. On first down, it's Robinson. 
Defensively, Sam Hubbard, the former Buckeye, there to stop it. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A throw complete to Dorsett. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down. They'll run it now with Robinson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. A gain of seven. On the run, it's Robinson. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Robinson, the ball carrier. Tackle made at the nine yard line. A three yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. It's second and seven from the nine. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and seven. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Good catch there by Tyler Eifert in Jacksonville, who needed help at the tight end position, signed him to do exactly that. Spent his first seven years in Cincinnati. A terrific red zone threat. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Takes the score, Jaguars 16. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Burrow now, a big spot for the Heisman Trophy winner. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Second and two. At their 40. Points the target, and he has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and ten at the 44-yard line. Throwing again, it's Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Complete to Joe Mixon. No gain on the play. Second and ten. At the and Burrow going to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 33. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Burrow going to get this into the hands of Mixon, his running back. It's a gain of five, and it's a second down. Brings up second and five. Again, it's Burrow. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 18. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. A gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 12-yard line. Now Joe Mixon and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. 
Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one score. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bengals are going to jump back in front. And that was an impressive drive. But I think we're going to talk about being way more impressive because of who led them. A rookie quarterback in that spot, putting his team in front, that's a big league. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. To return, here's Agnew. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Jaguars take over first and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And now the throw taken in by Chark. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it a second down. He's back to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. Tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 30. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. It leads to second and ten. Back to throw. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. And he's got it. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score... They might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. To return it, Darius Phillips. And they will wrangle it down a couple of yards shy of the 30. The Bengals take over first and 10. At the Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Jacksonville. And so much for the game-winning two-minute drive. I think that interception return there pretty much seals the deal. And one thing to keep in mind, in this situation with the score that close, defense isn't backing off and just giving you easy throws. They're playing aggressively as well, and they end up picking that one off and sealing the deal for themselves. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off at the 30. And that will write a finish to this ball game. Today's final score. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because 
both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Jags, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they're going to fall to 3-1 and one as they suffer their first loss. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.